What up, YouTube? I'll walk here with a brand new video review. This time, the Marvel Universe Comic 2 pack, Power Man and Iron Fist. Um, so here are the figures. Now I'm going to cover the packaging pretty quick. Alright, so here we have the comic. I'm going to cover this real quick. It's just a reprint of a Marvel comic of uh, Power, Power Man and Iron Fist. Um, I don't know why I um, suddenly stumbled at the title. But... Very nice picture. It's just a, a wee issue, so all all good. Except for the back. This is pretty cool. You got some Marvel Universe figures. You got the Galactus. You got some text here. So this is pretty good. So there you go. And then the packaging on this thing is pretty big because it holds two figures in a comic. So here you go. Uh, Power Man and Iron Fist. On the back, very nice pictures. And, yeah, the bio. With the help of the strongest otherworldly figures, known as Iron Fist and Power Man, he has cleared his name of the charges that judged him for years. Despite having nothing in common, the two men decide to form a partnership. Their de <clears throat> decision is just in time as a pair of deadly world-class assassins have the two heroes in their sights. So, there's the bio. Again, very nice picture of the actual figures here. So, uh, that's it for the packaging. And let's cover the figures. I'm going to save Iron Fist for last because he's my favorite. And he's really the reason why I bought this. Uh, Power Man's actually a pretty good figure. He is the more muscular, um, bigger mold that Marvel Heroes, uh uses. And they do a good job. I mean, I really like it. Now, articulation on this guy is pretty good, but it is hindered. Um, the head goes only this far down, and it rotates this much. Now, when you rotate it, you get this yellow here because this is a cut swivel joint instead of a ball joint. Which I actually prefer more because you get more articulation, but that's as far as you can look. Uh, the arms are pretty good because they rotate backwards, up, bicep swivel and an elbow along with a wrist he has a ball joint like torso joint which does cause some issues because if you turn it it breaks up the effect that this had and then the swivel in the um, the hip just makes it look weird he has ball joints and the best you could do is rotate him like this for a kicking pose and then you have double joint knees and they uh, bend up and down and rotate so fairly nice articulation the only problem with the figure that I have is having trouble finding a good pose for him the best I can kind of do is him like threatening you with his fist in the air or something um, so that is one thing I guess I could do a cool punch but uh, yeah so that's articulation on power man now detailing on him is pretty good um, he has the silver bands the silver um, I don't know if that's like, that's not a tiara, but I guess like a headband or something uh, on the head. And then he has a chain uh, belt, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, some people may complain that it's, that it's not hollow here, but you know what? That, that's pretty good for the scale. Um, the boots are done very well, and the skin tone is very well. They even had the um, these uh, pieces of cloth right here on the stomach, which on the back of the fake packaging oh wait it does show it see right there I thought it didn't show that on the back of the packaging <clears throat> so yeah very nice detailing the eyes are done very well too I might say they have pupils in the eye um, the hair actually has a nice texture to it now the problem I have is that it has this weird orange shading on it which is w really heavy in, like in the legs and the arms so it looks very weird but that's really my only complaint with the figure, besides from my personal complaint, which is I just can't find a good pose for this guy. Um, th it's just me. I'm pretty sure you guys could come up with a better pose for him. But, um, here you go. So that is Power Man. Very nice figure. And he fell. Okay. Next is Iron Fist. He's the real reason why I bought this, because they have released Iron Fist before in the in the Marvel Universe line. But this is the classic Iron Fist that actually had the um, the open chest, and you could see his tattoo. Um, so yeah, I have him in a meditating pose. This is probably what I'm going to have him on my shelf, only because 
I can get them in some really nice kicking poses. The only problem is that um, they can't stand and they don't come with Marvel Universe stands. Which they should do. I think that would be cool, but oh well. So, Iron Fist is the more slimmer body mold and he is a really nice figure. Um, I have a few complaints with him and it's mostly the head. This thing is kind of like this and I wish it was on a swivel itself so you can have it like lower instead of just up in the air. Um, so that's really my only complaint. Uh, this guy is on a ball joint, unfortunately. He can't look up or down, but he can look left and right. There is just enough clearance uh, with the collar so he can look. Although it might be a little trouble getting good grip to turn him back. <laughs> the collar is pretty nice. In the comic, these spikes are way bigger. So if they kind of trimmed this a little or made the spikes bigger, uh, I think that would have been cool. But we just get them normally. Uh, articulation is also uh, pretty good in the arms. Standard, up and down, outward, bicep swivel. He also has an elbow joint and a splayed open wrist swivel. And then you have uh, ball joints, which on mine, they break off incredibly easy. So I gotta be careful. And this is the best kick pose you can do. Um, double joint knees, and then a swivel and rotate. Well, swivel, and then they bend up and down. Although they are hindered a lot on the bending. So uh, yeah, that's articulation on him. Now, one thing I find funny is that he has a fist, and then he has a... a it's not a splayed open hand, it's a grabbing things hand. And then, he, and then this is a fist, and then this is a splayed open hand. This is splayed open. That's gravy. I don't know why they gave him a gravy hand. They should have just given him two fists or given him two fists. Uh, he's Iron Fist. He needs two fists or at least give us swappable hands. That would be cool. Um, so yeah, uh, detailing on this guy is really nice. I gotta say, this one's really impressive because it has, um, it's molded in green, but it has very nice shading. The shading on the legs, the chest, the arms, and the back are very nice. They really break up the green. Um, there's no shading on the lower part right here. And there's no shading on the belt or the mask or the yellow on the fit. Now this is a separate piece that they uh, molded or glued on. Um, I would be a little careful. I, I, it's on pretty tight so I don't think it will break off easy. But you, it, it could actually break off. So I recommend being careful with this. Um, the yellow belt is a separate piece. Same thing on Power Man. And the shoes are just painted on. And the skin texture is pretty good. Now, they kept the dragon tattoo. Of course you have to. And it looks really nice. I quite like it. Um, one thing I've always had a complaint with. And it's more like, it's not with the figure. It's with Iron Fist in general, is that the body of the dragon was really uh, thin in my opinion. It needed to be a little thicker. Um, speaking of this, since there's skin right here, when you twist the ball joint like torso joint, it breaks up the illusion. And he doesn't have a, a wrist, uh, not wrist, but um, hip articulation. Don't know why, I forgot that. But anyway, this this figure I quite enjoyed because you can get some really nice poses out of this guy. Um, you just gotta work with it. And if you guys heard thunder, it's raining pretty heavily in uh, right here in Florida. So yeah, if you guys hear th uh, thunder, I apologize. But yeah, you can get some really nice poses. I can get a lot of really nice kicking, punching, all kinds of poses with this mold. It's just a fantastic. Uh, figure and this is really why I bought Iron Fist. I'm more a fan of this costume design than the jumpsuit or the white jumpsuit Because this just looks cool. I really like this Design I love the giant fin. I love seeing the actual tattoo instead of having it just on the costume uh, Yeah, this guy has trouble standing Okay, so this is my review of the Marvel Universe Comic 2-Pack, Power Man, and Iron Fist. And I can really recommend this to any fan of Iron Fist or Power Man. Um, I really like the, the Iron Fist figure. It's just a great figure. And then the Power Man figure is a great figure. But I like Iron Fist more. And 
you know, it's just a personal problem with me about not finding a good pose for the character. I don't know him very well. Iron Fist, I know he does martial arts. I took martial arts, so I know all the moves and I know all the techniques and I know how to get him into really cool real worldly poses. Um, crazy jump sidekicks and um, all kinds of kicks and punches. And I guess that's why I connected with the character because I, I loved Batman from the start. And Iron Fist, when I found out about him, I, I fell in love with the guy because he's so cool. But this guy is just a really great figure. And I can't recommend the Iron Fist enough. Um, Power Man, I recommend to fans of Power Man. If you guys like Power Man, totally pick up this set. Plus, they work together. They're partners. So uh, it makes sense that they would be in a two-pack. And I think they complement each other very well. Because he has a lot of muscle and he has a lot of fighting. So, um, you know, pretty much a lot of muscle to the team. And then he adds a lot of the style and kung fu to the team. So, they the, so the figures complement each other very well. Like, the characters complement each other very well. And I really recommend them to anyone who is a fan of Iron Fist and Power Man. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video view. I hope I've helped you guys decide if you want this thing. If you want these this two-pack. If you don't. Um, I just hope I helped you guys make a decision on this, and uh, let me know what you guys think of the figures in the comments. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you own them? Stuff like that. Till then, I'll see you guys later. Adios.